Hey, this is Paul and in this short video I want to explain to you how I'm drawing my mind map that I shared in the community. So, um, the algorithm is pretty simple and yeah, just let me explain this and hopefully it helps you do something of your own. Maybe you need to, you want to modify it or draw something else. It might come just, and might be useful understanding how it's how it's calculated because if you just look into the db items table uh, there is a big chance that you're just going to be confused so this algorithm is pretty simple it's not the most compact one but it gives a good result and uh, you don't with the way how it draws uh, you don't get confused which uh, child node belongs to which parent node so the idea is basically that each leaf like the leaves are the items that don't have any children uh, occupies the same uh, horizontal space so all the nodes here have the same vertical space let's call them units so this is one unit, this is one unit, all these are of equal width. And even if our tree was something like that and that and that and that and that and here it would still calculate, it would still look something like like that. So each item would have a each, well, it wouldn't look like that uh, in the way it's drawn here, but I guess you get the you get the idea. If a if a node has no children, it's always going to stay uh, occupy one column of uh, horizontal space, and nothing will ever be here in the bottom. Like there will be nothing. No other nodes will interfere with uh, yeah so this will be the final one in this whole vertical space yeah so how do you do that first we need to yeah so each node has its parent we uh, enter each node's parent so step number one is to calculate children it's a simple formula just a reverse lookup find all nodes whose parent is this row so this node has these three children this row has uh, this node has these two children this one has three children no children after that is done we are starting to calculate widths of each like item how much of the horizontal space each node is taking up and the formula is pretty simple if there is no children the width is one so one here's one 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 and one and if there are children we take the sum of the widths of the immediate children so here is one plus one is two and you can see that yeah so this node technically it occupies the whole like two columns of uh, space here's one plus one plus one is three here's one so yeah this is Pretty simple. And this one is it occupies all the two plus three plus one. It occupies all six units of uh, width. Yeah. After that is done, the next step is we need. Okay, we know how wide these nodes are, but we need to sort of know, like this node is two and this node is three. But something should tell our chart that this needs to go further right from from this one so it's a totally different column like a group of columns and for that we need to calculate offsets and to calculate offsets first we need to figure out for each node which is its sibling to the left so the sibling is the node that has the same parent uh, they are called siblings and the sibling to the left of this node is nothing the sibling of this node is this node the sibling of this node is nothing because it's not the same parent for this parent it's the first node so nothing this one this one this one this one 
nothing and nothing right so that's pretty clear there is a formula for that it basically just filters for all the children of the parent whose order is smaller than the order the position of this node and takes the last of them that's your previous sibling and after that is done we start calculating offsets of each node and this is done this is done top uh, top down in a top down manner and for that let me just draw a new grid okay so the rules for calculating offset is this if there is a sibling to the left we take the offset of the sibling to the left plus the width of the sibling to the left and that's how we get the offset of the node i will start drawing you'll get this if there is if there is a sibling to the left if there is no sibling to the left we are taking the left uh, we are taking the offset of the parent and well if there is no parent the offset is zero Let's start from top down. So the, this node here, no parent, the offset is zero. And we're calculating, we're calculating offset from the left, uh, from the left side of the chart. So its offset is zero. This node has no left sibling. So its offset is the one of its parent. It's zero. Um, this node has sibling to the left, its offset is zero, its width is two, so the offset is zero plus two, it's one, two. This node, sibling to the left, offset is two, width is three, so two plus three is five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And the lower nodes, so uh, no, no sibling to the left, we are taking this uh, offset of the parent is zero, sibling to the left, zero plus one, one. No, no sibling to the left, but the parent has offset two, so take offset two, one, one plus two, one plus two, three, one plus three, four, and yeah, and that's how we have our, yeah, uh, something like that. We have our uh, mind map, and basically we have everything in position. So, yeah, it doesn't, well, the structure is already there. So what's left is just a little bit of pixie dust, a, some cosmetics is to make it look more centered. And what I'm doing for that is when I know these positions already, what I'm doing is that I'm just taking for each of the node, I'm taking its first sibling and last, uh, first child and the last child, and I'm just calculating the middle position of these two. So zero plus five divided by two is 2.5. Oh, well, it's it's not a top down, it's a bottoms up approach. So it goes from bottom to, yeah, just forget that. Zero plus one, this one becomes like centered 0 0.5, right? So it goes like equally distant from its leftmost and the rightmost node. If there is just one node, it just inherits the same value. Um, 
and yeah this one is two three four the average one is uh, like the two the, the average one between two and four is three so it goes here and the node goes in here like obviously for these ones there are no uh, children so it just stays as is and this one is five right and yeah it's not 2.5 i need to correct myself for that um so five plus 0.5 is 5.5 and the half of that is 2 point it's gonna be a little bit more to the right 2.75 and yeah regardless of how many nodes are between the first one and the last one if there's like hundreds of them or if the weight is uh, unevenly distributed so there is more children on the left and fewer children on the right it's still going to just take the first node and the last node and take their uh, like the average of these two values so that the visually the like this lag and this lag they look symmetrical and that's and that's how you calculate positions for the chart. And what's left is just to convert that into absolute pixels. When you know that the maximum width is like five, like six columns, and you know that each node needs to take up like this many pixels and there needs to be this many padding between the nodes, you can basically calculate what's the final width is gonna be and based on that just calculate how many pixels so translate these two three five four etc numbers to the actual x coordinate of the top left corner of each node and when you have these you can as well calculate the or maybe I'm first calculating centers, you calculate, ultimately you get, you calculate the centers of each rectangle of each node. And yeah, the, all that's left is to draw the lines. I'm drawing from sibling to parent. So if there is no parent, there is nothing to draw, no line to draw. Uh, I'm drawing between the center x, y of the no of one node to the center of x, y of the other node. And when I'm drawing the rectangle, it just over overdraws the line, but the lines keep nice and clear when they like we can mentally finish them so that they go from the center of one node to the center of the other. And that's how my mind map is drawn. Hopefully this was uh, somewhat educational and it will help you uh, do your own things with this approach. This was Paul. Uh, thank you.